Hey everybody, welcome back again to Ken Tamplin Vocal Academy where the proof is in the singing. Uh, if you guys wouldn't mind, please like my video, I'd really appreciate that. And uh, please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to ring that bell. That way I can uh, keep more of these cool videos coming your way. I'm gonna go ahead and do a Vocal Coach Reacts to um, Axis of Awesome. Now I have seen this, but it was a long time ago. But I actually have referred to this video in some of my songwriting things we've discussed before. And I'll try to get in a little more depth in that if we can, if we're going through this. Now, I know there's some language in here too from what I remember. Uh, it's been a long time, so we'll just fire it up and dive right in, okay? Here we go. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Jordan. I'm Lee. Hi, Jordan. And we Hello. are the Axis of awesome. awesome. And I'm Benny. We've been a comedy rock band for close to 40 years now. Mm, and, 40 and all years. that time, we've never had a hit. Yeah, and I'll just yeah but you guys know why. Why? Because we never wrote a four chord song. What do you, what do you, what's that? What's a four chord song, Benny? Well, if you want to, all the greatest hits from the past 40 years just use four chords. Same four chords for every song. It's dead simple to write a pop hit. Just four? Yeah, yeah, yeah right. these four hits. There's a lot like One, that. One, two, three, four chords. Okay, so so let me let me grab my guitar here. I hope it's in tune. <laughs> um, uh, that's what E, B, C sharp, minor A. So he just went. Okay, so we're gonna get into this, but you know. Right, that's basically what he's doing. Let me put this back. We'll talk more about this in a minute, uh, but I, I just wanted to kind of clarify that. So those chords are uh, an E, a B, a C sharp minor seven, uh, or C sharp uh, minor, did I say seven, just C sharp. She's C sharp minor seven, she sells she sells down by the C sharp, sorry about that. A C sharp, let's do this again, one more time. An E, a B, a C sharp minor, and an A, okay? And those can be kind of played in any inversion, so it really makes a difference on how um, something sounds, because it, even if you change the positioning of the chords, and we'll do that in a minute, uh, it really helps um, fake you out and think you're not hearing the same four chords when in fact you really are, okay? Let's continue, whoops. Well, this straight to... chicken little. Um, what you're um, what you're trying to say is you can you can take those four chords, repeat them, and pump out every pop song ever. Is, is that what you're saying? Yeah. Fuck off. Yeah. Fuck off, chicken little. Just listen. Do you recognise this? Uh, yeah, that is "Don't Stop Believing" by Journey. It's a great song. Very original. There's a few more song. Fit. Check it out. My life is brilliant. My love is pure. I saw an angel of that I'm sure. Well, that's just two songs that are similar. That's forever not young. Three I want to be forever young. I won't hesitate no more, no more. It cannot wait. I'm yours. This is the way you left me. I'm not pretending. No love, no hope, no glory, no happy ending. Cause you were amazing We did amazing things If I could, then I would I'd go wherever you will go Now, it's kind of funny. I'm gonna back this up just a little bit, but um, yeah, it's really true. I mean, for the most part, there are a lot of formulas to writing. There are a lot of chord sequences that get used over and over again. I'll show you some of those in a second so we can kind of do that. I'll do it after the video so I don't distract from the video. But yeah, it, it is. But it's also to, let's not forget something. It's the chords, but it's what's carved out of those chords that matters and the melody and the timing and the you know the melodic value, how the chords are, are, are created or, or presented, I should say. Uh, so remember folks, melody is king. So it's how you combine a melody. You can strum one. Oh, bloody, oh, blah, da, life goes on, right, live, life goes on. That's only one chord, and the Beatles carved out a melody to that. Uh, that. Um, I love it, and I, I want to say it was Da Vinci, right, um, who was the sculptor in Italy, as you know, and uh, Moses, you know, uh, right, or was the thinker, uh, I forget which one, I think it might have been Moses, but, uh, and they'd asked him, you know, how did you come up with Moses out of just that piece of marble? And he said that Moses was there all along, he just liberated him from the rock. So you can have a piece of rock or four chords, but if you can't see Moses in the middle of it to carve it out, uh, it's not just the chords, it's the melody that accompanies that, okay? So I just want to clarify that up front so we're, we're clear about that. <laughs> Amazing though how many songs 
When I find myself in times of trouble, Mother Mary comes to me. Sometimes I feel like I don't have a partner. Jolly swag man can't take on me. When I come around, take me out. When I come around, I'll hell. be gone. When you die, nice, he hit it. <laughs> Say it to me. I love this montage, how they're bringing all this stuff in and they're weaving in all these parts and stuff. You know, again, uh, that's pretty genius of them being able to weave in all this stuff. I actually did a video um, with uh, Anthony Vincent from Six Second Songs and uh, one of my students, Gabriela Gunchikova, and we did the history of rock, or excuse me, a journey through rock and roll. If you get a chance, I'll put that in the description tag. Uh, it has nothing to do with this, but it was really hard kind of weaving in and out of all these different styles and different things. And they're actually doing that with the Ford Chords song, just weaving in all these different uh, hits and melodies and whatnot within four chords, so that's pretty cool. And they also have to take into account too, they weren't all written in the same key, so they're having to modify the keys to fit the same exact four chords he's playing over and over again. It's pretty incredible. Now, I know this, this is like going on and on and on. I'm sure if it's time to list this, I forgot about how long this thing was, but uh, just amazing how many songs are done like that. I want to I want to point out some other chords to you guys too so you can get a you know, feel for that as well. And believe it or not, there's actually a lot more hits since this video's been out for quite a while. There's a lot more songs that have been written with those exact same four chords so they could have added to this considerably just since this. And doesn't that seem peculiar? Cause everyone wants a little more It's something I do remember To never go this far That's all it takes to be a star All right, so as promised, let me, uh, let me grab my guitar here again real quick. Um, so as we said, uh, excuse me, as we said that those chords were E um, and a B and a C sharp minor and an A, okay? Now I could take those same chords and I could go And they have kind of a different tonal quality to them, right? If you really, really think about it. So, and you can rearrange those chords to where you can kind of disguise them over and over again or do different inversions of the chords um, to accommodate that. So now there's other chord progressions that get used over and over again. So just like what he just did, I'm just gonna do them. Um, right? And all that is is an E, a B, a D, and A. Now listen to this in, in a different context. So.
Tim Chords. Exactly the same chords. Now, um, that's a chord progression. Now, in the same exact chord progression, only changing one note of one chord, we can take that E, so that was E, B, D, and A, okay? But we could go E, B minor, D, and A. So it would sound like this. Um, Right, and so do you hear how, the, how it changes, the sound of it actually changes quite a bit if I go, here's an E, or if I played it out here, and then if I wanna play B minor, if I go like this, right, a B minor seven, it just has a whole different sound to it. Now, the interesting thing about chords, which is really cool, and I'm not gonna go into a whole big tutorial on chords, but maybe some of you guys would appreciate this, is that a B minor seven is really kinda of basically a D chord. It's the same chord with one note difference basically. So you could substitute, instead of playing a D chord, you could substitute it with a B minor 7. Now you don't want to dominate it because then because then it adds a little bit more flavor to the sound. So so if I, if I went or hear the similarities? Right? It's very, very similar in the tonal quality. So not only is it, there it is played in a lower inversion. So if I went, right, it has a whole different thing. Whoops, dropped my pick, hold on. <laughs> um, anyway, not that I need a pick, but so there's that, there's that progression. Then, you know, there's other progressions, which are like, um, So all that is is one chord with one note moving. We have this one note, a B minor, a B minor, excuse me, and then it drops a half step, and then drops a half step again. So that's a very commonly used progression. Right? Now another progression that's used a lot is taking that same thing and Right, so you're basically doing the same thing, just dropping a note. Right, so this is a very commonly used chord progression. Right, now, in James Bond movies, it's similar too, you've got, um, right, so, or Zeppelin. That's a very common chord progression. Another very common chord progression is um, how many times have we heard that progression? So we could have probably just done the three chord song with a gazillion people that use the same chords. How about this one? Right? Uh, uh. that one before so play differently be it just be this but hear how differently it sounds if it's played in a different position here's a sounds very different then right so again just changing the position of the chords makes a tremendous difference so anyway guys stay tuned I got another really cool video coming your way and uh, it was enjoying uh, spending some time with you guys and here's a couple more little progressions This is a D, a C. One more.